Changing the DNS server on a Samsung TV can feel like deciphering ancient code, but once you understand it, it's easy. Here's why you'd want to do it. Better streaming speeds, access to region-locked content, and stronger security. First, a pain point, laggy streaming. You pop on a show and instead of diving into the plot, you're watching the little loading circle spin endlessly. Changing your DNS server can reduce buffering by optimizing how your TV connects to the internet. Let's get practical. Grab your Samsung remote and go to the home screen. Navigate to the settings menu by clicking the gear icon. If you're like me, it's oddly satisfying once you find it. Just don't overthink the menus. From there, head to General Settings, then select Network. Simple so far, right? You'll see Network Status pop up. Click that and watch your current connection details appear. Now the real magic happens. Scroll to IP Settings and click to open it. A lot of this might look like gibberish at first, like an address from another universe. Don't sweat it. You're about to tame this chaos. Find the option for DNS settings. By default, it'll say Obtain Automatically, which means your TV is using whatever your internet provider gave you. Click to change that to Enter Manually. Now you're in control. Pro tip, use a free public DNS like Google's 8.8, 8.8, or Cloudflare's 11.1.1. Both are lightning fast and extremely reliable. Just type the numbers using your remote. Yes, it's clunky, but it works. Once entered, click OK and let your TV reconnect to the network. This step ensures your new DNS settings are correctly applied. If it doesn't reconnect, double check those numbers. It happens. Test things out by streaming something. If you did it right, you should notice snappier loading times or at the very least, consistent playback. For me, this trick is like upgrading your TV without spending a dime. Why does this work? A better DNS server means faster domain name resolution. It's like upgrading from a slow, outdated GPS to a modern, zippy one that gets you there without unnecessary detours. One last tip. If you're trying to access region-restricted content, say, unblocking a show in another country, pair this with a VPN on your router. Problem solved. But for most people, just switching DNS works wonders. That's it. Pain point solved, better streaming achieved, and you feel like a tech wizard. If you're in Portland, DM me if you have questions. The internet gods would want it this way.